and uh, welcome to the PC how to put together show. All right, now I've got all my things here. What we're going to do is put together an AMD machine. It's a AMD Athlon, and I'll how do we go there? Oh, how's that? AMD Athlon. That's the CPU. We've got a gigabyte motherboard right there. Some RAM, which is what's that? Two gig, two gig of RAM. Little hard drive, 500 meg, uh, gig, meg would be good, wouldn't it? And a TV tuner card, because this is going to be a media center PC. All right, and I've also got a remote control, because that comes later. Oh, and the case, of course, and the core, that's just over there. All right, now, what we're gonna do is, so what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna open up the case. So I hope you guys, can stay with me here and I haven't got too much bench room but we're gonna go and grab the case so you get the case out you get it out of the box comes out take off the stuff and there it is nice black one you want black these days I think you want black ones now as you can see it's all you know I'll show you the front of it so you can get an idea nice uh, piano black I think they call it nice little piano black one now first of all you just open him up you can put him down on the on the bench however you like is this like a Jamie Oliver cooking show all right so just uh, there's some screws on the back so these cases these days this is a um, this is like a thermal a thermal take case they're all pretty much uh, screw driverless or whatever the terminology is something like that so you can because you don't need any screwdrivers really so you take the side off easy as and make sure you get the right side to take off the right side would probably be I don't know you'll know what the right side is the right side is so it leaves the empty the, the empty hole in there so it's the right hand side of the case I guess now put your screw somewhere where you're gonna remember where they are so you got your case you take out your your power lead you don't need your power lead you need that later undo all these little screws their little internal screws and sort of just just sort of just have a bit of a poke around you know just to familiarize yourself with the inside of the case just undo that because you're gonna need some you're going to need some cabling and some room to, to move. So you want to pull the cable out. All right. All right, so this case actually comes with a power supply, as you can see. A little power supply. Uh, some cases don't, so that just means that you just have to um, put one in. But that's uh, no big deal. No big deal at all. Just the four screws on the side, on the, on the back of it. Slip it in and you'll be right. Nice big fan there for some exhaust. Uh, I think there, there's a fan up the front there to, to also have some exhaust. Um, we're not going to put a floppy in. So just familiarise yourself with the layout of the case. You can just have a quick look at the little bumps down here. That's where the motherboard is going to secure itself to. Um, rightio. So now, once you've got a bit of idea about that, you can put that away because we've prepped the case and now we're going to do the motherboard and the chip. Because I, I find that I'm not going to put the motherboard in and then start pushing, you know, stuff, pushing my hands and the componentry, like the CPU and the RAM, down, um, you know, not forcefully, but assertively, uh, while the motherboard's in the case. It's best to do it on the bench, um, just so, you know, because the motherboard's like that. It's like, it's a flexible thing, so you don't want it to, to bend, you know, like that, because if you crack some of those little soldering lines, you know, you're finished. It's, um, hello, where you bought it from, will you return it? Will you take it back? Now, now before you start mucking around with everything, you can either follow my advice or not. But um, look, I'm on a on a carpet here, so I will. I've got thongs on, rubber thongs, uh, just to stop any static. You know, come with your feet rubbing on the carpet and so forth. And also, you want to go and invest in one of these little anti anti static wrist strap. Hmm? Easy. Right. Now, what you do with these little straps? is you put these on your hand or on your wrist 
like that. There's a little metal thing under there. So you put them like that, it's pretty secure. So then obviously the metal thing's touching your skin. Now you've got to put this somewhere. Now normally uh, you can't attach it to the case, but just attach it to anything metal. Um, so I'm going to attach it at the start. I'm actually going to bring this case up because I haven't got anything metal here to uh, attach it to. And because I'm going to put the case on this side of the bench, I'm, I'm going to swap hands <laughs> with this. Okay, so that's there. Now, bend down here. Oh, I'll grab that case. This is not going to be the fastest assembly you've ever seen, <laughs> by the way. So as I said, this is going to be a media centre. So, open up your, open up your um, motherboard. Oh, look at all those little goodies. Case thing. Book. CD for your drivers, or DVD, whatever it may be. Manual. Some leads, come in handy. Sticker, oh look, it's a home theatre board. Hmm, I bought well. Okay, and under there, oh look at that. Nice little motherboard. Good stuff. Good stuff. So that's about all that's in the box, you can chuck that away. Now as you might see, I've got these things here. Now um, these are like, I don't know, little, little foam little foam things. These these used to come with motherboards and uh, certain componentry and there isn't any in this motherboard. So I don't know, maybe they're going cheap. I don't know. But what was that motherboard I hear you ask? It was, it was a Gigabyte Ultra Durable 880GM UD2H. But I put the specs of everything that I'm going to use here today on the uh, web somewhere. So um, so you can have a look at them if you if you want to follow the and build your own and build your own and follow this little little tutorial exactly. All right. So just be careful, obviously, with everything that you're doing. Try not to touch too much of everything. So try not to touch. You know, the, the, there's probably not much chance if you've got your strap on. And you, you know, you got your rubber thongs on. There's probably not too much. If you don't have a strap, um, look, surely you can get some rubber thongs. They're two bucks down at Woolies or something. So, um, but at least get some rubber thongs or some shoes or something. You know, just if you're on carpet. Um, and if you don't have a, a wrist strap, what I just suggest you do is just every before you start touching componentry, I would just be touching the metal of the case. So, if I just show you, you know, just the metal of the case somewhere, just somewhere, just like that. Somewhere like that, and hopefully that's going to earth you and um, take any static electricity out of your body. Now, here we go. This is always <laughs> this is always scary, isn't it? What I normally do is just you know, obviously don't try and touch any capacitors on the top. I normally just put my hand under the um, under the bottom of the board and just try and touch, say maybe the PCI slots, like that move it out, put it on something that's not uh, going to transmit static, like these little foam things that I've got out of other componentry are really good. Uh, look, you could probably find something around somewhere. Um, but maybe, you know, hang on, it's a bit noisy, isn't it? Chuck that away. Um, but yeah, just just on your desktop is good. Like my bench here, it's just got a, just a nice little cotton sheet, I suppose, if you, if you will, over it. Um, look, I would have done it on the top of that, on the cotton sheet, there's no dramas. Uh, Rightio. Now, uh, you've got to get the CPU, which is that fella, and that's the RAM, and I'm also going to get the card, because what we want to try, the card will actually come a little bit later, but what I want to do, especially with the RAM and the CPU, is to, uh, to push these things into the board before we put, then put that into the case, so everything's sort of pushed in. Okay. Now, we'll do the CPU first. So you open him up, you get your little screwdriver, or your little um, pair of scissors or whatever. Now with a screwdriver, if you do happen to have a screwdriver, you've got to try and make sure that it's not magnetic, for obvious reasons. Sometimes, look, some people won't agree with me. Some people won't agree with me on the wrist strap. Some people just won't agree with me wearing thongs, but hey, that's the way I do it. 
little sticker for the front of your machine if you can be bothered. Let's put the sticker over there. Uh, some junk. Now that's the actual CPU. Tiny little thing. And in here will be the uh, fan, the cooling fan. And there it is, the cooling fan. So we can take the fan out, put him over there. Now just don't take that plastic cover off yet because there's some um, uh, sticky adhesive special cooling stuff thing there that'll it'll when it gets onto the it'll actually like make it it'll stick a little bit to the top of the CPU and it'll it'll transfer the heat more efficiently from the CPU uh, through to the more well, what do you call that like the vent the radiator type of um, thing there and the fan will cool that it's probably acts like similar to a radiator in a car with the fan blowing uh, behind it just to cool the water down as you as you travel along now what I would be doing is opening up the CPU like so normally when you get real good at this it takes you about oh, maybe half an hour if that to um, put one of these together but it's, it's, they're pretty simple things now look this is you open up the CPU this has got a little bit of a protector on it as you can see a little foamy protector earth yourself again for goodness sake <laughs> earth yourself for every five seconds um, just touch the side of the side of the case now just be so careful with these because the AMD they've still got the, the little pins and these little pins are so um, fine and you don't want to bend any because see this down here it's got to go into there now maybe what I can do if the technology permits um, give you a little bit of a close-up of the board so that's this in here that's where the um, we're gonna put the CPU in there so we might, uh, if we move that up there a bit, no, we've got to move it down for you to see better. Fair enough. Oh, how's that even? There we go. Now what I might, might want to do now, if you want me to, um, th these are like the expansion slots where you put your extra cards, your PCI cards, AGB cards, whatever, whatever depends on what type of board you've got. Uh, power over there. Uh, you've got your RAM slots in there, USB for your, your case connectors in there. Uh, that's obviously just your back panel. Um, and that's pretty much about it. The rest of it sort of just comes as, as, as you go along. Now what I did before was I just, there's a little lever on these AMD ones and probably on, on most ones as well. You just, you just slide it, you, well you don't slide, you just push him out a little bit just to take him from under the hook and pull it up. Now that, that sort of just releases the whole the CPU seat mechanism so it's ready to take the, all those pins from the CPU so now just touch the case again <laughs> okay try not to touch the pins like try and manhandle the everything as least as possible now if you look closely at the CPU you'll see it's got a little triangle on one corner I don't know if that'll uh, focus in there it might that little, whoops, see that little, that's different to the other corners. See the other corners are, that's got a little triangle. See that little silver, goldy thing? Okay, now that's important because what happens is there's a little triangle on the little, on the, on the seat here as well. And you've got to match them up and that's the right way to put it in. So if you haven't got, if you haven't holding him around the right way, touch the case and hold him around the right way. And he should just put him over, and he should just fall in. And yep, he just falls in. If it doesn't just fall in, give it a slightest, slightest little nudge. And if it's still not right, you might have it around the wrong way. It'll only go in one way, because it'll only work one way. So then once it's seated in, you just get down and have a bit of a look. Make sure it's all, you know, straight, nice and flush and seated in properly. And then you just push this little fella back down, hooking back under, CPU installed. Now, this thing, the, the cooler fan, you've got to work out which way you're going to put it. Um, that's the power lead. So what we're going to do is look at here, see that's where the, it's got two little hooks. Those, those things there, little hooks on each side. And they'll hook over these two things here. So once we do all that, so we'll just hook it all in, take this plastic thing off, and 
we're going to put that in somewhere and we're going to put it in um, we've got to find the little little thing here, the system fan, there's a little, little note there on the side of the ball which says system fan so just make sure you're going to put it in the right way so the lead will fit, you know so, got the right idea that's the little adhesive stuff, try not to touch that till it actually goes on the goes on the CPU uh, that's a little lever, locks and opens the, the catch that'll the hold everything into place there that's that thing there, see? So you want to have it in the open position and obviously the open position is where it's all nice and loose so you put that in, so what you'll do is just so slide in obviously the other, other side first so it's just going to hook in so it hooks in under that blue little plastic thing like that just make that thing sit on top of the CPU like, like so now that's you just gotta might have to just muck around with ah oh, that's it so you catch him in on that side you catch him in just you can firmly push down as long as it's that's why you've got to push it on the on the on the bench because otherwise you're pushing in there you're bending the could bend the circuit board that's a nice little fit everything's hooked in the little things are hooked in over its little thing now you turn that and everything should just start tightening up and leave that there like that and that is as tight as a bun that is really tight mm. that's not moving so that's good um, best of all get rid of the stuff as you go get rid of that stuff as you go okay now the ram this is the ram oh, I better plug the the fan power in so the system fan power there's normally only one way that these will plug in and that's the wrong way I think Hang on. plug him in there okay so he's all plugged in Keep him out of the way. Now, this is the ram, so you open up the ram. This is also another thing you've got to be very, very careful with. A little bit of static will fry this little sucker as well. These days you can just put one stick of ram in. This is a little 2 gig stick. Once again, try not to touch. Try not to touch as, as much as you can help. So, these will just, like... Try and ease him out as best you can. Pick him up. Try not to touch it much. Now, you want to. Um, there's different channels for the RAM. Now, if you can have a look, you either want to look on, in the book if you can't see the channels. It probably doesn't really matter too much. But look, I just put him in in channel zero uh, to start with, which will be just just put him in the first blue one. I can't see the the number on here actually. On the on the actual board but like we can you know you might want to check that later in the book but look it doesn't really matter too much it doesn't really matter too much like just with one stick but what you might want to do and then so you just put him in so you pull these little fellas these little holders back and that just allows the ram to sit in and then once the ram is in you match it make sure you match up the little the cut out on the the ram stick with the with the little um, uh, nodule thing whatever that is in there so you know obviously that sits flat and then you just sort of you can you can just rock it in and then they'll these little little feet thing will click when it's in properly so you can just push it down on here click click and the little feet have it might just uh, little feet come back up now you quickly look in the book we might as well while we're while we're having a quick look here to see which is the ram slot as I said it doesn't really matter um, but I might just, instead of worrying about that now, I might just put that as just as a maybe an addendum as when we when we um, uh, put stuff up on the page. But uh, as I said, it doesn't really matter. Like ram slots are ram slots. But for to make the thing go sweet as a nut, but um, you know for gamers and all that, you probably want to get it right. But anyway, won't worry about that now. So I'm not actually sure. <laughs> so now that's pretty much the. The motherboard, the CPU, and the RAM. So that's pretty much installed. So that's 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 good. 
Okay, now we're going to come back to that because we've done as much as we can there for the minute. Just chuck stuff away as you, as you go because you don't really need half this stuff. Now we're going to get the case back again because now we're going to put, we're going to put the, um, the board in the case. Now we'll just pick up the board, put him to one side. Bring the case back into play, like so. Now, we might just come back out a bit. Now, punch all that stuff up there. Now, at the back of the case, you might, you'll be able to see, at the back of the case, you'll be able to see that's where the, all, the motherboard, all the motherboard accessories poke through. But obviously motherboards are different, so what you want to do is this will actually come out, it'll actually pop out, and to, that's what that was for in the motherboard case. That's the actual back panel that we want to put in. So we just get here and he's only normally held on by two little, two little bits up there, so we're well, not going to use this thing again, so he can be a little bit a little bit persuasive with it. Just hang on, I'll put him over there so you can see. So you're gonna be a little bit a little bit persuasive. And that's it. Pull that out. Pull that out. Chuck it. Chuck him away. You get your your other one, that one. Open him up out of the plastic. Chuck that noisy plastic away. Now you just all you gotta do is obviously the keyboard and the mouse that there they go up the, to the top, towards the top of the case. So just um, what you do, do we just the top of the case is at where up here, obviously. If you the top of the case you don't know, you just have a look at the top of the case, where it is, on, by the front, if you have to. The top is there. So you just push that. You might have to come from the inside. Might have to come from the inside, because uh, that's how it's going to be held in. And you put all that fans in the way. That's, that's a bit tricky, isn't it? Right. Oh, that is a bit tricky. So, so you come across different problems with every case. Different set of problems. Little thing there, so that's it. So you just try and massage him as best you can. This might take a while, this is not the right, this is, take the wrist strap off, you don't need the wrist strap on at the minute. Now, that's the easiest way to do this, that fan in the way. for the uh, screwdriverless case. So you might just have to loosen that fan there off a bit because it's in the way of that hole. Which can, we can't get that other little thing in. You need, you, it has to go in because that's what all everything pokes through. And the one that was, came with the case is just a generic one. And um, it's not the right one, is it? Say motherboard, all your stuff on your board is not going to poke through. So this is this is the type of thing where you um, you learn a, a few swear words. There we go. So, 
take him in. He should pretty much, he just sits in there. He's, he probably doesn't click in too much, but you gotta push him through as much as you can because the board, remember, is gonna go behind it. And so the board will, um, oh, and especially on this one, the, cat, the fan is behind it once we screw it back in, so he's not coming out. So he will not be coming out. I'm gonna turn him up like that. Get that other screw. Turn him in like that. Beautiful. Right. So he's in. Now, turn this, turn the beast back on its side. So you can get some good access going. Now you want to just move all these leads out of the way because you want to get that motherboard in. Probably want to just see that um, there, that's all bundled up. You probably want to um, undo that while you, not necessary right now, but, um, but why not? While we're thinking of it, we'll do it. Because he's just got a, and probably, look, it's probably best to say, look, I don't make the, the most tidiest insides of cases, but um, you, can, you can get little bands and stuff and, the, look, the tidier you can make all these wires at the end of the day, and the, mo and the more you can keep them out of the way of the airflow, the better, because the air will just uh, flow better around the case if there's nothing in the way, of course. Right. Now, so the board's small enough. Sometimes what you do is you, you get the board in, and then the hard drive, um, there'll be something that obstructs the hard drive from, from um, going in to the board, but the board's small enough. So we won't worry about that. Now put those, just tuck them in there, so they, they keep out of the way. Now the board, now you got these things, little knob things, little risers, like little ant hills. Now that's what the board slips into. Now you know which way the board goes, because of the back panel, so you line him up, and then you can sort of, you know he's just going to slip in. Now the little holes here, these are the ones, these are the ones there, see there's little holes everywhere, oh, I can't see that, sorry, there's little holes that they're going to, they're all going to, you know, go into, hold the board properly into the case. Now, so you put the board in, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, so you just match up everything, you, I, I can, I don't mind holding the that the CPU that's in pretty hard, so you know you can you can sort of like hold him pretty like that, so you can get him under. I hope that fan's not going to be in the way. This no, he's all right. And you just gently maneuver, oh, maneuver it all in. So all the the back panel sockets, like the speakers sockets, the video sockets, and the keyboard and all that, they're all matched up with the the panel at the back that you've put in. Now you get your little screwdriver. This is the only thing that you need a screwdriver for, really. And you get your little, your little screws that came with the case. And look, they gave you gave you a little back panel patch panel thing. You want to keep those. That little thing there, because sometimes you, you know, you, or you can put you can put cards in, and then you want to take them out at some stage, and then you don't want to leave holes in the back of the the machine so um there is a hole there now see so if you're not going to put a card into that slot into that blue slot there well then you put that on and then that just frees up there's a see there's a hole there that just that just blocks him off so you don't get any roaches in your machine or whatever is crawling around your place at night chuck that away so now Tip those screws out. Now you'll find some funny looking screws in here. These things. These tiny, these little things there, if you can focus on that. That's, they're pretty much for, for cases that don't have the little mounds because then they screw into the bottom of the case and the board sits on that and you screw the board into that. But we don't need those because we've got the little mounds, if you, if you noticed before, which we pointed out. So you just get a couple of... Uh, screws that's nice little flatties 
one, what did I say, six, one, two, same ones, three, some boards come with like a thousand screws, three, four, five, six, okay, and also, you know, keep touching your case, touch your case, touch your case, uh, put your strap on, put your rubber thongs on, touch your screwdriver on the case, you know, can't be too careful, unless you like going back to the, to the, um, to your retail outlet going, excuse me, but this doesn't work. And if you don't like doing that, do what I say. So you just push and push and pull him a bit, not too, not too rambunctiously, but just, uh, just a little bit. You can just pop your little screw in. Into, I just do one at a time, so you don't do them up tight, but you just do it up. Oh, loose, loose yeah, I wouldn't do it up real tight at all. It's just, it's just to get the screw into the, the screw and the board into position. And then once all the screws are in position, we can, we can uh, screw them up tighter. And also, it's pretty much like, uh, you know, when you're doing your, when you're changing a tyre on your car. Oh, look at that. Wrong hole. When you're doing a changing a tire on your car, you know you do them up all fairly loose, and then you do the the big tight at the end, and that's so that that so the wheel doesn't actually go onto the the rim in a crooked manner. Okay, so you just do. There were six of the little mounds, so we're going to do six of the little little screws. Some of them are in a a um, can be in a inaccessible position, um, but look, you can get little tools down at like Dick Smith or or somewhere, you know, Tandy, I think they went broke, but anyway, you know, places like that, you know what I mean. And um, like this little fella, this is a little, I don't know if you can see that, see, it's got a little thing on the end there. Now that can hold your screw, and these, this does come in handy, because it can hold your screw in its little claws, like that, and then you can put that screw into that little hard to get spot because you don't want to be sticking your fingers all over everything, if you know what I mean. Then just get your screwdriver, touch the case, get your screwdriver, and then just tighten him up a tiny wee bit. Now that screw I put in the wrong hole, I put it into a, um, a hole that didn't have a, a bump under it. <laughs> Good work, I know. So this is where this thing will come in handy again. So what we'll do is we'll just go in there, get that screw out like that, and we'll put him in there properly and we'll look for a, the, the other hole that it's got to go in into there, screwdriver, touch the case seriously, touch the case, <laughs> I'm not joking you know, there's no good when you get the computer and you're ready to fire it up and it just doesn't go you go, I wonder why and you'll never know so it's best to be safe than sorry Alright, so just bunging that now, that's all the six, the six are in, so the board, they're not in tight, they're, you know, semi-loose, so now we're just going to go tighten them up, so what I reckon, just make sure everything feels good, nothing's, you know, nothing's bad, nothing's going crazy in there, so I start with this top one, just tighten him up, not overly tight, but just till it, till it grabs, and then I'd go to the diagonal opposite, Till it grabs and try and do diagonally opposites till it grabs till it grabs till it grabs till it grabs now if you lost count of where you've actually been you can then once it's all pretty tight you just you can just do a little bit of a little bit of a check now another good thing to have is I don't know what was going on in that one up there. But another good thing to have is a light that you can see what's going on. And I know the lights aren't too good where I am, but so that's why I've invested. I'll be back in a sec, hang on. Um, that's why I invested in a in a, one of these handheld lights. And what you do, oh geez, what you do is you can just push him in there. And I've got this up here. Just, you know, one of those lights, you can get them anywhere, you know, something that you can 
use the, use when you're under your car or something. So you get it from super cheap or somewhere. Let's have a look and see. Oh no, he went in all right. He's just a bit dodgy that one. I don't know why he didn't like tighten up enough. He sort of didn't, you know. Didn't grab. But anyway, so be it. There was only one, so it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Tight enough. The others are tight, the others will hold it in, hold it together. All right, now, you've got to put your, your leads in. So, first things first, you see all your leads here? Just, that's the back fan. So these are all your power leads coming straight from your power supply. Now this big fella, that's, that's for your, your main board, your motherboard. And obviously, most of these things, you know, they're pretty, pretty obvious. Now you can tell that that <laughs> pretty, pretty whippy, aren't they? Now you can tell which where that's going to go. That's going to go into that big one there. It'll only go in one way. Just give it a little firm little push, and you'll hear it all click because it's got little um, holders on it. That'll all click in like like so. Now you got these other fellas. I'm bound to forget something. So you got these other fellas here. So, what else have we got going with this board? All right. So, so these little things. There, these are probably the most fiddly little things. Those little, the little front, the front panel display control LED things. Okay. Actually. So that before, what I did is I put the, that CPU fan in the it's got system fan, but there was another one closer. Um, one's called a this was called a system fan. There's another one I just saw. It's called a CPU fan. So we take him out, put him in the CPU fan. He's a little bit closer. So we just do that. Two, four, one, two, three, one, two, two. Right. Now sometimes you've got to. Plug these in, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. But he looks all right. So, yeah, everything looks all right. So that's your hard drive controller in there. That's where you put your, your IDE hard drives. That's your floppy drive controller if you got one. Um, I think we've just got a SATA hard drive, which we do have here. So what we're going to do is put that in. I'll just tidy up my little... Tidy up my little screws here. If we're finished with the screws, so I just put those away. Put them back in your little bag, your little tightening up bag like that. So you know they don't go all over the floor, and then you're not forever treading on them because they hurt. Let me tell you, they hurt. All right, where was I up to? Okay, what are these things hanging in here? Okay, so you've got, oh uh, yep, so you've got audio and USB, and they're for the front panel, the front panel connections. Okay, so you look on your board, probably a good idea to look in the, in the book, <laughs> to say, so it's easier to find, but most of the things on the board are, are, not, are, are named, uh, if, you, if you can wait long enough, or if, you can, if you've got the patience to, um, to go through them. So one, two, that looks like the audio there. But look, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to quickly whip this book out. So I don't want to stuff it up. So I haven't, I haven't put one of these, what these actual boards in before. Okay, so what you got over there is floppy USB front panel. Okay, so the audio, you just keep, you just look through the book, it tells you what's on the board, so with a circle. So normally you've got a picture of the board, hold it up the, the same way. Sorry, it's a bit bright, I know. Hold it up the same way. So where's that audio? You can see the audio's up the back. So you get the, that audio lead there. And you can see that there's sometimes, if you have a look on the top of them, I'm going to see if I can zoom that in, so you don't go pushing your little heart out. See how you... Oh, no, this is going to come into focus in a minute. Hopefully. <laughs> so, but what it is, 
is um, I don't have a focus button on my camera. There you go, on the remote. But anyway, focus. As if I put my fingers in there. They're gonna focus on my fingers. I'm trying to, isn't it? But anyway, look. If you, I know you can't see that too good. I'll just come out a bit. But anyway, there's holes in it, but there's a couple of holes that are blocked. So you just be careful when you're putting that onto the pins on the board that you, you know, you're not trying to to, to shove um, the, the cable into, you know, so you're not putting hot the, the blocked off ones over a pin and then bending the pin back onto the cable. If you look, match it up, touch the, touch the case, and it'll just go straight in. Like that, pushing down so it's pretty firm. Now the other one will be the USB. USB, look in your book, USB down the front, yep, down the front. So you probably want to just go, uh, the headers, each USB header can provide two ports, blah, 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 blah. So once again, there's, a, there's one blocked off. It's pretty much to stop you putting the wrong plug into the wrong, onto the wrong set of pins. So you line them up, put them in. Slide him in. Slide that, slide it in. Now you've got your front panel display and controls. You see these? These are uh, all... These are all numbered. These are all named power, HD, reset, all that sort of stuff. So now you've just got to find, look in your book once again and you'll get a bit of an idea of where they go. So front panel audio, no front panel. That's what we need. Now that's them down there and it's got a little F panel. That's them down there. Right there. So you can see if you look closely and sometimes sometimes it's handy to, to have one of these. Little magnifying glass if you, you can't really see what's going on. But I, I'm not too too blind. But you know, just so you can see if it's a bit hard. But um, so what have we got here? So we got uh, normally they're in uh, they're in two rows. Like so, there's a there's a front row and a back row. So the um, you just study the book so you can so when you know when you go when you're putting these in, study the book and then have a look and see how it goes on the board. Uh, so first of all, we can see that the hard drive is at the bottom left so you find the hard drive led which is the the light hard drive put him in and you find your reset switch which is right next to it put him in whoop just make sure you don't miss a pin otherwise you're putting it in half a half a half and god knows what'll happen might make you a latte or something now you got the power switch and the power lead. So you put the power lead. Just put him in. Like so. One. Two. Touch the case. And your power switch. Right. You can also see there that there's a speaker. That's if your case has got a speaker, which this one doesn't have. Or you can get little um, speakers by themselves. You can just pop in and they just sort of like little, little tiny, real tiny little speaker things. They just sit on the top of the case. And the power switch you can see says power at the back, just behind the reset. So I'll put that in. If we don't get these, or if we get the power one wrong, obviously the button's not going to fire up the board. So, right, what else have we got going on? You might as well put the hard drive in. Hard drive time. All right, now. So just give me two secs. I don't know to put a hard drive in. I just want to just quickly check something. Okay. La, la, la. La, la, la. P two P. Okay. 
Right. So, so there's another little CPU power thing right at the back there. But we might come back to him. Um, because he's a, he's a, he'll only go in one way too. We'll come back to him. Come back to him. Now, rightio. So we'll just grab this off here. Lift him up like that. So as you can see, where are we? I'm going to try and turn this around a bit so you can see. Put this hard drive in. Now obviously your hard drive is going to sit, you know, behind the face, behind the face of the computer. This here, this little, you've got this little compartment here for your uh, USB and your speakers and so forth. So, you know, you can, that's, the, that's in there, that's if you've got a floppy drive, that's the, the power button, and that's for your DVD ROMs or burners or CD drives, whatever. Whatever. But the uh, hard drive shouldn't require you to, un to take any of those out. So, turn this back around like that. Give you a bit of an idea there. Where are we going? Right, so these ones at the top. At the, at the top here. As you can see at the top, that's where your CDs and that go. So we're not going to be touching those. We're going to be, that's where your little floppy goes in that one. So you can just pick one of these, just pick the top one here. Make sure there's drive not going to be in, impeded in any way. Take your little snappy wappy thing out. Now there's probably, there isn't one on the other side. So look, I always like putting screws in these. Because those little snappy wappy things, they, um, you don't know what's going to happen with those. So undo your hard drive. Jeez, they do these up tight, don't they? Touch the case. Put your hard drive in, so you'll go in. So obviously the that's the that's, so that's the top of the drive, so that and that's the bottom. So you want it to go in. So it, when it's sitting on the floor, uh, that's at the top, obviously, so the dust won't collect on the bottom. Now, then they should it should just slide in. You'll find that there's little guides. You'll find there's little guides. Once again, if you, if you have to be a little, little, can't see what's going on, just don't, don't be too hard with it, and don't touch that circuit board on the bottom of it. So line it up with the holes in the side there. You'll see the holes for the screws. I don't know if you can see those right there. Because look, you can put that little, that little black thing back in. It's probably good enough for now. See what worries me though is like, yeah, that's good enough, but like, what are you going to do about the other side? Like the other, the other side of the hard drive is not secured by anything. So you can either put that little thing back in or take him back out and look, because because it's me, I have to put a screw in it. So just open up a little box, a little bag of screws. Whoops, drop one. No, there's plenty more. Find one that's going to fit. Now the reason why you want to make it as tight as you possibly, or you know, like it can, and make sure you put two screws in, is because you don't want the thing vibrating. You know, like if it gets up a bit of speed, you don't want the thing vibrating. Right. Now this has got a built-in video card as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screw in the other, in the other side. So like, that's not going to fall out because we've secured everything. So just turn him up the other upside down. Now these these haven't got um, one screws that you can take out by your hand. So just quickly unscrew this side, the screws at the back to get this side out. Get this side off. Like that. You can see how your board's sitting in there nice. Now you just get a couple of screws. For this side of your hard, and I'd do this to your CD-ROM as well, or your DVD. I'd do it to your, your floppy. Just make sure everything's tight, like 
Vibration is one of the worst things that you can probably get. And not just because of like, the longevity of your parts, but just because of um, well, noise as well. I'm going crazy. It's be mental. And especially for a media centre, like, which, which this is going to be. You don't want to be hearing, you know, like throughout your, your um, Love Strikes Twice movie. Or whatever you might be watching with your sweetheart. You want total quiet. So just tighten that back up. We're not going to really be hoofing into that side again. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you guys... Yeah, I think you might have saw that. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I've got to get a monitor so I can see what I'm doing. All right. I've got all these leads hanging out all over the place. Just move them out the way and they'll come in handy. So what you can probably do, that's the, um, hang on, just, uh, come back out here. All right. Now, move up here a bit like that. Now that's just how you connect the, the fan to the power. These are obviously all your power. Um, the reason why there's two is if you're running short on power from the the, um, the power supply unit or the PSU, you uh, you just use one of them up. Use that one up. It's got it's got like a an adapter. So when you put them in, sometimes they can be a bit tricky because the little pins move a little bit, you know. So sometimes you just got to play with it. And sometimes play with a bit more. That's it. So you get it in, nice snug fit, and then see that that's the adapter, which will just give you another another outlet because the fan's not going to take much power. Now to hook up your drive, now you got to find those. You got to find those. Um, there they are. The uh, leads, the, the the cabling that came with the board. Now this is a SATA. A SATA drive so we'll be using the SATA cable uh, we won't be using the IDE cable so most of the time you might use that for your DVD and look I plan on doing some other videos so maybe another one where we install the DVD if you don't know how to do that we can fix that up okay oh look they give you two now you notice the thing they don't give you is a damn um, power a power cable Crazy. So look, so yes, there's two two uh, sides. One's got a little thing. Some some of them have just got but two flat sides. Some of them got a little angle side. I know. I'll, I'll just put the angle one into the hard drive. You, you can find out. Obviously, there's only two sizes, so the one that fits. And then these are the little these little blue things down here. You can see down here. And, they, and you can just, or look in your book if you don't know where the SATA connectors are for the motherboard. They're blue, same as the, same as the lead. Nice and easy. And look, you can even, they're also numbered. You can even just, um, you can either look in your book for the, for the numbered, numbered ones. We'll get your trusty, trusty one out. There we go. SATA, two, three, two, zero, one, two, three. And that one over there. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. It doesn't have a number. So anyway, we go to SATA zero. So the zero one, the first one in the in the line, is that. So we go there. It's always good to start off the start. Why not? Right. Now poke him. Just poke. Just poke the lead under there. Keep it all neat. Now we got me the TV TV tuner card. Open him up. What is this? A PCI. So we should be right. I've got a USB one as well. So maybe whatever, whatever takes your fancy, you know. But this one here will open him up. And in another video, uh, we'll be actually installing an operating system onto this machine. And that'll be a Windows Windows 7. In installation of Windows 7. Which is it's pretty easy these days. Windows has got a lot better. Um, with its installations. A lot more streamlined, user friendly. So you open up your thing. 
see what else is in the box. It's always good to go through. Oh, look, you got a little remote, which you're not going to use because unless it's a Windows Media Center remote, which it could be. You never know until you read the book. But no, I just bought this because I just wanted the card. Like the remote was forty bucks. I knew the remote worked. That's just the that is the um, uh, infrared receiver for the remote. Some batteries, lovely. Hell's that? Little antenna. Huh. Cool. Must be if you're on the on the go. And that's to oh yeah for the for the mounting. Okay, and a installation CD. All right. So I just put all that to the side. Let's have a look here. Okay. So what goes on here? You'll find that um, the card. See that that's that's the expansion slot where that, that it just goes in there and that that back of it forms part of the case the back of the case and then you've got this other little one that's for if you've got a small form factor case um, you know it could only be well that big so you just swap the big the big long one from your desktop case if you've got a smaller one and you put that in so it's you know smaller for those little tiny micro desktop machines but in this case it's just going into and there's the card. Once again, don't start touching everything. You don't have to. See, you just touch it by that. Touch the case. Now just figure out where it's going to go. It's a PCI slot. It's a PCI card. It'll go in there. But hello, there's got it back on the case. So you've got to take the case off. I mean the uh, back. So probably, just, look, just put it into this one here. So just sort of have a bit of a guide there so you know which one you're going to take out because some of these once you take them out you can't put them back but this one might be all right so on this particular case there's a screw there so you undo the screw and that little thing folds down you'll be able to push a little a little just wiggle that see it's wiggle 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 still these little thing breaks and where's the card Get the card, touch the case, and put put that in there. Now sometimes, see, it's not right in. So sometimes you just might just get your flat end of your your screwy, your screwdriver. Just make sure it just pops all the way in down there. So it's sitting nice and flush, nice and tight, see? Nice and tight. Now you've got to put this little fella back on. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so, how are we going to do this? How does this go? That's got to go. I knew I should have took more notice of how that come off. That might, does that go in like that? And up for a no? So it's got to go... Oh jeez, how does this go in? So... Well when you figure out how to put this back in, can you tell me? I shall get me two year old Eddie. Actually going like that. And just give me two secs. I'll be. I've stopped talking so I can think about it. <laughs> oh, I might have been the wrong way, did I? Oh, silly me. Silly, silly me. So I put that back on. the eye on the prize, Glenn. Keep the eye on the prize. So sometimes you put a card in and obviously it's a bit, it adds a bit of a, a bit of a, another layer of sort of metal on there. So you might have to just, with your hand, push that down so the, the holes meet up so you can put that screw in. Are they serious? Right. 
while we're here, we're not going to use that other slot. It's got an onboard video card. So just get your spare spacer. Oh, God. <laughs> Put the spare spacer in. Like so. So he's not in properly on the back. Got to make sure his little tail slides into the yeah, that's it, into the hole. Right, that's got him. I'm gonna try and screw and not look what I'm doing. Right, he's in. Now, um, that's it. That's it. No more, nothing else. This is a pretty basic system, so there's nothing else to plug in. So you probably could go and find some, uh, so go and find some elastic bands or some, some uh, little things like these. You can probably get a little red one. Oh, that's a bit big, but that'll do. And so you just get the, get your spare power. All these ones you're not going to be using. And just tidy them all up. Like so. Yeah, those little fellas, I've got to figure out what's going on with them. Because sometimes the CPU needs those to power up most of the time. These days. Um, you know, tidy him up, put him into a bit of a bunch. Put this little thing around it. Like so. And you can just pop him over there somewhere. Pop him in there, doesn't really matter. Alright, now you're ready to figure out what's going on with these other two power cables. Which isn't it's going to be tricky to get you yeah, get into actually. See, there's a little little um, power cable up there. So so what you got to do? So you probably want to go to P two, P three. So we get the P3 one, well, that only goes in one way. Slide him. He only goes in one way. So touch the case, make sure you got your thing on. Alright, he's in. Now if all goes well, we come to the end. Take the strap off. Well I'll leave it on just in case it doesn't go all well. <laughs> you have to get back in. And um, get the power lead. I've already got one plugged in. So, come on, give me some length. Oh, it's okay. So what we'll do, we'll stand him up like that. Now on the back of the back of it, you'll see some power supplies. They'll have a, a power switch. Before I put the uh, power power cord into it, I'll always make sure that that's off. Because you don't want you don't want to jam power a, a live lead like straight straight in because the the power will go straight to the board. Not that it'll probably hurt it, but you know less stress you, you put under the things the better you know. So anyway, I have to turn it around this way. So all you want to hear when you plug it in. Hang on, I'm going to have to sort this lead out. So all you want to do because it's a big lead, but it's got tangled in a few things. Now if all goes well. <laughs> it's gonna start, and if all goes bad, um, we'll have some smoke. Well, actually, I didn't put that side on properly, but I can do that. I'll do that later. So put him in like that. Power cord in. 
So what you want to hear when you power this thing in up, is you want to see uh, the power supply fan going. Um, and this one's got one on the bottom, so you want to see that going. It's got one at the back, you want to see that going. It's got a system fan at the, at the back here, you want to see that going. And probably most important, you want to see the fan on the CPU going. So now that's all in. I'm not going to plug it into the monitor yet, because once all that goes, um, I'll be happy. And I'll put the, put the cover back on. Uh, so I think everything, I think I've got power everywhere. Make sure you've got power. Just make sure everything's snug, RAM, everything's in, everything's done. Did I turn that on? No, lucky. I thought, uh oh. Hmm. Okay. So maybe we didn't get the power switch right. So power. Power. One, two. So you go back to your book, make sure that is the power connector down there. And I suppose then you've got to make sure that you actually got power and that that lead's plugged in. It's going to be funny if it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so you've got eight. Yeah, that's right. Power switch. So look, we might have put them around the wrong way, but you can try. Let's take him out and put him around the other way. Just make, oops, just make sure the thing's on. Okay, so we've got some issue somewhere. Now maybe the issue sits. What have I forgotten? Forgotten. There's nothing I've forgotten. Um, okay, so diagnosis. This is where your diagnosis skills come in. I'll just check the power. That lead's plugged in. Yeah, she's in. Okay. Let's try. Maybe I stuffed up with these these ones. Maybe, maybe I'll stuff it up. Okay, let's try that. On. There we go. I did stuff up. So, everything's going. CPU fan's not going, but that probably doesn't mean too much because to see all these things these days, the... Uh, CPU all goes on, the, the fan goes on the heat of the CPU and only comes on when it's needed. So that's fine. Look, um, at least, you know, there's power going to the board. Uh, there's no speaker on this machine, so you can't hear the, the post, which is unfortunate. Um, I'll, 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 before, the, before I start installing stuff, I'll find a speaker and I'll see if I've got a speaker. I don't know if I have or not. I used to have all these little goodies. Um... I used to have all these little goodies somewhere. But what you can do is, so what I might do actually, before I finish off, is just um, plug the monitor in. And then we'll know for sure. Because uh, uh, what I've done with me. Well, they're, they're pretty rare. I, did, I didn't have too many of them. I plugged the monitor in um, just to make sure that, you know, that stuff is coming up. Now, where's the monitor? Oh, is that what I've got over here? Where's that gone? Is that that thing there? All right. It's quite messy, you know, when you've got a small space. So I plug the monitor in. Turn the monitor on. Wait till the monitor warms up a little bit because you don't want to turn the computer on and uh, the monitor sort of, you know, hasn't warmed up, hasn't sort of come on. You're thinking, uh oh, something's going on. And then all of a sudden, ding. All right. Oh, I know what we forgot. Of course, we didn't put the um, the hard drive power in because they never gave us one, did they? So you got. So that's what you got to be careful of. That's a little tip. Probably go make sure you buy one. 
before you get home. You know, no good getting home. And you go, oh, well, man, there's no power for the, for the, um, for the hard drives. So I've got the power over here somewhere. I've got a little, like a little box. Little box. And it's got, little box. SATA power cables. That's what you want. So you get a little power cable out. And when I find one, I'll show you what they look like. Like that. Normal power on that side. That power actually. What am I doing? I don't know why they. Geez, I'm silly. There's probably one on the power supply. I bet you guys at home are going, Glenn, they're on the power supply. <laughs> and there is two. <laughs> Geez, I'm silly. Okay, just unravel your little bit of mess. That's why they don't give you one. A duh. But I'll tell you, there's only one on there. Bad luck if you had two drives. So anyway, unravel the unravel the mess that you tidied up before. Give you enough slack on that SATA on that SATA cable. And stick where is it? There it is. It'll only go in one way. Have a look to see which way it's gonna go. Feed things through so they're sort of as neat as possible. As I said, I'm not the neatest uh, cable cable tire upper, but the neater you can be, the better. That's a bit stiff, but it goes on. Just replace that one again, like that. Get the rest of those. Wrap all that. Just make sure there's no cabling like around the CPU fan or the other fan because otherwise you're going to get a one night when you're watching your, your movie. Now hopefully we'll turn him on and we should get a uh, something on the monitor. Whew, hopefully. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, there we go. Good stuff. You just have to believe me. But, all is good. All is good with the world. All right. So then, last thing. Obviously, take your strap off. Don't need that no more. Grab the side of the case. Now you see that? That goes over the CPU. I just go bang. Make sure it's all going to sit nice. Put the case on. Look, I didn't hear anything out of this machine. It was a little quiet as a mouse, which is good. Exactly what you need from media center. And the more fans you can jam in it too, on your quality fans that is. The cooler you can keep it, the, the less the CPU fan has to work. And um, yeah, the better. There it is. So put the side of your case back on. Get right close to this so you can hear the sound because it is it is very it's a quiet machine that's why you got to buy good stuff so that's on you can't hear it eh? oh you sort of can hello oh, right here. it's on but that's that's church mouse that is church mouse and that's what you want all right, so that's it. So in another episode, we're going to put Windows 7 onto the beast. 
and uh, set it up for a media center. So until then, ciao.